toast. Toast is a staple in every British household. Hands up if you've had toast, say, in the last two weeks. A fair few of you. For the people who haven't, you may want to reconsider what you eat for breakfast every day. Before we begin, Toast. Toast is a piece of bread that is browned on both sides to expose your radiant heat. You can have your toast undercooked, you can have it overcooked, you can have it burnt to a crisp or just right. Toppings. You can have jam, marmite, marmalade, butter, Nutella, peanut butter, whatever you fancy. But I'm not here to talk about toppings because I would be here all day. I'm here to talk to you about why toast is one more comforting than bread and two, why toast slaps. For the people who don't know what, to what slaps means, slaps is a synonym for the word amazing. Like I said again, toast is a piece of bread that is brown to expose your radiant heat, e.g. your grill or fire. In our case, we're lucky enough to have a toaster. We invented something that didn't mean we had to hold a piece of bread over a fire for 20 minutes and wait for, it, wait for it to brown. This browning is because of the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is an organic chemical reaction in which reducing sugars react with the acids in the toast so that then they will they can brown, and then we will have our toast. The first time the word toast was seen was seen in Shakespeare's book, The Very Merry Wives of Windsor, when Faust asks the man, go get me a quart sack, put toast in. To translate, he is asking for a great deal of wine with some literal toast in, toast in it. For the adults in the room, who here wants to drink acidic wine? No one. And when they put the toast in the wine, the negative acid atoms from the grape juice and the positive phosphorus from the bread and the potassium, they would react and they would form insoluble salts, which then would neutralize the acid, causing the adults to get drunk, and then there would be more money for the people who farm the wine. Like I said before, the Maillard reaction is what gives the toasty interesting characteristic flavoring. When you pan cook a steak, you will get you will get the crispiness from the steak, which will be done in the pan because the sugars that were on the outside of the steak will react with the heat from the pan and will brown and give you the, your steak that you want to eat for dinner. If you're me and don't like steak, perfectly fine. You can have it in your biscuits, your cookies, and again, on your toast. Toast is a versatile thing, which means you can eat it in any mood. If you're happy, you're sad, you're tired, you just want to cry on it, you can do whatever. Your toast has lots of vitamins and minerals in it, which means this can help you stay happy and healthy, like I said at the beginning. Examples of these vitamins and minerals are B1, B2, and B6. These will, again, help you stay happy and healthy, and that is why you should rethink your breakfast. Overall, toast, overall, the scientific reason toast is so much more comforting and delicious than bread. It's not a deep-rooted conspiracy. See, it's all down to science. When you put that piece of bread in the toaster and it comes out with the gorgeous browning, it has gone, undergone the Maillard reaction, which again is an organic chemical reaction, which has been seen in lots of other foods. So, when you, go, when you eat breakfast tomorrow morning, think about what you put in your body, because if you want to put some sugary cereal in you that will just rot your teeth, or if you want to put some toast in you, that can help you stay happy and healthy, and that is why toast slaps and why it's so much more comforting than bread. Thank you very much. Uh, so, judge, did, did the judges have toast this morning? Yeah. Yes, I'm getting some nods. Uh, what would you like to know from Amy judges? Adam? Uh, I, I'm too a member of the Toast Appreciation Society, so it's, it's nice to, to hear from a fellow member there. Um, has, one of the things about food science is fascinating, but it tends to influence what you eat and how you do things. Has any of the research you've done on toast influenced the way that you approach toast? Uh, I'm now starting to eat it before bed because it's just something that I never did before. I used to eat it in the morning, but now I eat it in the evening, because then the vitamins and minerals can get in my body while I'm sleeping, and I don't work them out during the day. Interesting. Thank you. Jo. Um, what's been the best thing for you about taking part in Fame Lab Academy? Missing a day of school. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Honest. So teachers will be thrilled with that answer. Uh, uh, let's have a massive round of applause for Amy and her team. Thank you very much.